glowing and clear skin really starts in our nighttime routine. I don't know what magic happens overnight, but it is perfect in the morning. I will never take advantage of a flexible face again. How do you feel? And with all the Black Friday sales coming, I wanted to share a day and night routine with some of my recent K-beauty skincare favorites and discoveries that I think you need to check out from Amazon this Black Friday. Starting tonight with one of my favorite masks of the year. So let's start with this one. It is the Beauty of Josan Red Bean Pore Mask. It is my absolute favorite because look, I'm almost done with it and I already have a backup because I love it so much. My skin always feels so soft and brightened after using it, so I highly recommend it for those of you who want to refine uneven skin texture, when you want to decongest, or you have large pores and you need like a weekly pick-me-up. Dry skin, oily skin, it doesn't matter. Honestly, this one's the best. And this is the only clay mask that I've been using all year. You can leave this on for about 15, 20 minutes, and the cool thing is it doesn't dry to be really drying. If that makes sense, it's really flexible. So then after that, you wash it off to reveal glowing skin. All right, so after that, I'm moving on to my favorite new discovery. It's been well-loved since the day that I started using it because I haven't stopped. It's called the CNP Laboratory Propolis Ampule, and it's just the most satisfying, thin, honey-like gel texture that leaves the most luminous glow and bounce to your skin. I was skeptical at first because I've never heard of this brand before, but after looking into it and reading some comments, there's like a secret cult following of this guy, which is also sold in Olive Young in Korea. So yes, after using it once, I was hooked and haven't stopped. For ingredients, there's beta-glucan for intense and long-lasting moisture, metacasicide for soothing, and hyaluronic acid to hydrate, and obviously, like the name suggests, concentrated levels of propolis extract which is personally one of my favorite skincare ingredients, especially for dull, dehydrated, and uneven skin tones. So if you want to feel like you have a spa facial treatment at home, definitely check this guy out because I have been obsessed with it. All right, now moving on to a overnight mask. So overnight masks are essentially your nighttime moisturizer because it's designed to seal, moisturize, and nourish over the course of the time that we're sleeping. And this is from Abib. I read some of the comments before trying it and some people loved it, while others thought thought it was a bit too sticky, so I was really excited to try it out. My first impression is that the jelly texture is actually really luscious and thicker, so it doesn't drip and get everywhere like some other ones do, which I really liked. And then when you put it on, it feels really nice and it's like a firm whipped gel, so it definitely gives you that occlusive layer that makes the skin feel really protected. It's not like a super lightweight gel that sinks instantly to the skin, it's more like a comforting blanket over the skin. And then I understood why people said it was sticky because if you do happen to put a lot of it on it can leave that kind of tacky effect but your skin wakes up the next morning so rejuvenated soft and hydrated and just elastic and firm so less is more with this one but it definitely pays off oh my gosh okay now moving on to the lips guys this lip glaze is perfection in a bottle look at how cute it is i cannot get over it it's the tacobo vita glazed lip mask I didn't even know Tacobo had this because if you're like me, you probably knew about them from their sunstick. But this has instantly risen to my most favorite and most worn lip balm or lip mask product. It's this plush feeling that's got moringa seed oil, jojoba, raspberry seed oil, vitamin E, and pomegranate flower seed extract. It's just moisturizing, it's glossy, but it's not sticky, and it's like the porridge that's just right for your lips. A must have for the winter. Oh, and it smells subtly of peach. This is honestly divine, and of course, you can use it as a gloss or a balm and a sleeping mask. Guys, if you're looking for a lip balm, definitely get this one. Rise and shine. <laughs> Something that I always have in the winter is a cup of water next to my bed because, oh my goodness, everything feels dry and parched. From my lungs to my eyes, my skin sometimes, if it's, you know, not well moisturized, and of course my soul. So a good thing is to hydrate as soon as you wake up. And then next step is to check out what we're dealing with today. And you'll know if your night routine works because you'll wake up glowing. As you may be able to see, my skin is actually really elastic, it's flexible, it's not oily, 
which is something that I commonly wake up to sometimes with a mask, but it's just like skin. So first starting with a gentle cleanser of choice just to get the excess sebum or dead skin off of the surface from overnight. Gentle is the keyword. Fresh as a daisy. Then I love a mist toner just to refresh the skin. Moving on to Ampule, I've been in love with this. Oh, it just feels so good and I've actually just been obsessed with using it every day. I think especially if you have really dehydrated skin, you'll love it. Then moving on to moisturizer, this guy, still want to recommend it to you guys because it's just got the most luscious, silky emulsion kind of lotion texture. I talked about it in my previous video, but I think it's such a beautiful moisturizer, especially for day and night. And it's got the moringa oil, which I think is just so healing. It's subtly brightening. It calms inflammation, or at least for me anyway. And now that it's winter, I get like really dry and flaky. I concentrate on those areas here. Really just like press the moisturizer in. Beautiful. All right, so today, because I am going to go with a little bit of makeup, concealer, that's when an eye cream is a must. I've mentioned this Tacobo gel one before. It is so beautiful. It's like a gel cream with just a little bit of retinol to help plump those fine lines, wrinkles as an active ingredient. But just in general, this gel formula works for any skin type. It won't cause, you know, like, pore blockage and cause milia. It will just really help your concealer from creasing. Just pat a little bit of that in. Sunscreen. Sunscreen in the winter, don't forget. Also, I bring around my Abib sunstick, but it's better to use your lotion sunscreens than to use a stick for your first application. You definitely want your lotion as the first and then any sunstick or anything like that is just kind of like a top up throughout the day. So I'll show you what I do later on. And voila, makeup time. Do this little lip balm. <laughs> you have to get this lip balm. It's like life changing. I've discovered this guy. It is the Skin Food Dark Circle Concealer Cream. Let me just show you. I'm gonna do this eye. Sometimes I will just use this on its own. And it works with the color wheel, you know, because purple and like yellow or orange are on the opposite ends. And so it just helps to counteract. And guys, do you see this? It's like 10 hours of sleep, two hours of sleep. All right, so now for evening out the rest of the face, I love compact cushions. I love them for every occasion because they're just so convenient. So this is the one from Romand. It's their water cushion. So it gives you a really healthy, dewy look. So it is kind of sheer to medium coverage and it's buildable. So I concentrate this first in the centers of my face get most of the pigment around the nose and the cheeks. And this is so hydrating, guys. It feels like skincare. It doesn't feel like makeup where it's thick and heavy. And then I just set the T-zone and kind of like roll it because these areas are where I have large pores and I also get oily. Ding. Brows done, blush done, and so I have some fun options for you guys. This is like an everyday palette that everyone needs. It's basically got all your neutral browns, but Romand also has these really fun, like speckled glittery looks as well. Oh my God, look at them. So like you might look at this and be like, how the heck am I supposed to use this every day? Let me show you how you can kind of incorporate it into like a fun daily look. So what I do is just take an, any neutral brown like this, sweep it over the lids, and then I'll take that same shadow and run it along the bottom lash line. I like to take the dark brown shade, define a lash line, and elongate our eyes. 
without putting liner on it. And then this is where the fun comes. I really like these because it's like kind of brownish and then we're just gonna pop it into the lid. Oh my god, how pretty. Oh my god. Shimma shimma! <laughs> you literally just pack it on. So I curl my lashes, put some mascara on. I'm just gonna tight line, which means under the lashes. So you just wanna you see that white part? I don't want that white part. And that's it. Now lip time. The smackable moisturized lips are still on. Ah, I can't get over this guy. This is so cute. But I have all my favorite Amuse gel fit tints in here. Adorable. So they leave your lips stained, which means even when it rubs off during the day, your lips will still have a natural flush of color. This one was the shade that I talked about last time. I love it because it's just very wearable. It's not too pink and it kind of goes with everything. Pretty. Back again. Shady's back. Yoink. <laughs> All right, so about midday, I'm quickly touching up my SPF by the water. Look how pretty it is. And this is the sunstick I use for the best, like, normal looking skin. It's not too matte, it's not too shiny and sticky, which some other sunsticks can be. And for those of you who are like, what is this thing? Sunsticks are best for touch ups of SPF throughout the day, and it just glides over your skin, especially this one without really moving my makeup at all and it leaves a very natural skin-like radiance. And I have a whole video all about sunsticks, so I'll leave it up here. So anyways, I just went to visit another friend on the Jersey side of town and was swept away by this view. Look at the city. A shift in perspective can do a lot for the soul, right? <laughs> all right, on we go. Babe, what are you doing? <laughs> What's that on your face and why do you look like that? My face? Why do you look like that? What the? <laughs> you have the zombie mask on and I have the mummy mask pack because couples that skincare together. Wrinkle together. <laughs> Blow together. Okay, let's rewind to about 15 minutes ago where I created this mummy mask by Skin1004 by mixing this black charcoal powder that's activated when it's mixed with the serum got some charcoal powder for like sebum absorbing as well as centella asiatica, sea buckthorn, allantoin, and this ingredient called albumin, albumin, which is also part of like egg whites, which is why it's able to tighten. And look at it! Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's really interesting because depending on how the different cracks are, whether it's cracked or bumpy, it means that your skin is either dehydrated or lacks elasticity in some areas, so you can kind of like read the cracks. Then for Thomas, he used the zombie mask that I used last time. It gives the same tightening effect to the skin, but has slightly different ingredients. So his one has niacinamide as well as soothing ingredients like centella, sea buckthorn, birch extract, and rose extract. And by the way, the longer you leave this on your skin, the tighter it gets. And oh my goodness, my mouth could barely move at this point. So time to wash it off. Okay, let's wash off. The mask is all dry and you can feel it like set in place. How does yours feel? Oh, my face feels like a prison. <laughs> it's, time. <laughs> it's time to wash it off. <laughs> a tip is to just let the warm water soak and soften the mask first. Oh, I can move again. I will never take advantage of a flexible face again. <laughs> And then after you wash it off, it feels so soft, slightly brightened, and definitely sculpted. So it's definitely a fun one to do with your friend, significant other, or whoever's around. <laughs> now I'm going to pamper us with a face mask. This is the Marion May Vitamin C and Niacinamide 
daily moss that comes in the really convenient like tissue box container. And as you guys know, I have this on my bedside table because sometimes, you know, after your shower, it's just nice to put it on. And the best part about skincare is if it's convenient. Shall we go relax for 10 minutes while it soaks in? Mm-hmm. Okay. Love relaxing? Relax! We shall come back in 10. your skin especially when it's dehydrated and in the winter my skin gets really nasty around the nose and just like around the u-zone hydrate the neck hydrate okay just quickly i also want to mention if you love the snail mucin consistency and what it does for your skin i also want to recommend the mixoon bean essence because it's really similar in consistency and the way that it leaves your skin looking and feeling but this mixoon one has fermented soybean as well as some fruit enzymes which help with naturally buffing away dead skin it also has that fun pulley sensation and it gives you that hydrated veil over no matter what skin type you have so i just wanted to put it out there i love mixoon's products and this is one of the most unique ones in their range and then finish off with a moisturizer think so you need. How do you feel? Your skin is so soft. Wow. It's definitely not normally this soft, right? Because I don't normally let him use my stuff. Okay. Okay. We sleep. Good night. Mm -hmm.